Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm gonna show you a few ways to share videos through Google Classroom. Let's go ahead and take a look here at my demo class. And the first method we're going to use is to just post the video as an announcement with a file that I have stored in my Google Drive. Now, remember, you can store anything you want in your Google Drive, including a video, like this one here that I have called Rain in Key West. You'll notice right now I'm the owner and I have not shared it with anyone yet. So there's no sharing enabled on this video yet. So here I am in the classroom. I'm gonna share that video right now. Just say, please watch this video of rain falling in Key West. And now I'm going to add that file from my Google Drive. And there's my file. Let's add it in and post it. Now let's take a look at what the student sees. So the student looking at his Google Drive, this is my student Mason, can now click on that link and watch the video. It's not a very impressive video. Now, remember that I said initially that video I hadn't previously shared. And so it's still a video that's in my Google Drive, but you'll see it's now shared. And if I click on the sharing for this, we can see shared with two groups, and those are the groups that it's been shared with, my demo class and my demo class one teachers group, okay? So now it's been shared. Now another option is to go into the classwork section of your Google Classroom, and you can create it as a material Let's say watch this video of rainfall in Key West. And again, add it and use my Google Drive and put in that video that way. And now it's just a resource for my students to watch or consult as a material in my Google Drive. But if I wanna make this an assignment for students that they have to watch it and perhaps respond to it, I might create it as an assignment. So let's create an assignment and say, watch this video and reply. Watch this video and reply. Have you ever been caught in a rainstorm like this. Now I'm going to add this again from my Google Drive. And I'm going to say students can view the file, students can edit the file, or make a copy for each student. When I do that, it puts a copy of the video file in each student's Google Drive. Now I can assign that to them. I can do all my usual things, like give it a due date and a topic if I like and a point value. And so I'll assign that to all of my students. Now, all of those steps I've just done by using videos that I have stored in my Google Drive. Again, you can upload anything by going to the new menu and hitting the file upload and uploading your video. But if you want to use YouTube, perhaps you have a YouTube channel or you're just starting a YouTube channel and you want to include your videos from YouTube, here's what you can do. So here I have my YouTube demo account that I've set up. And you can see I'm signed in there with my Richard Byrne demo account. And I wanna upload a video. So I'm gonna to go to this upper right-hand corner here and say, upload video. 
And I'm going to upload a file that I have on my desktop. We'll use a short video that I have. And that's just a little video of baby sea turtles. So I'm going to have my baby sea turtle come out there, baby sea turtle. Now, I'm not going to put this on a playlist because I you know, don't need to with only one video, but I could if I wanted to. And I can put in some more options like tagging if I like to. But I'm going to say I'm going to disable all comments. Now, I'm also going to put this into you know, a different category. Not that that really is going to matter here. Because on this next step, oh, now this, yes, it's made for kids. No, it's not made for kids. In this case, this video is not made for kids who are under 13 or not intended for kids under 13. Now on my visibility, I'm going to make this video unlisted. Unlisted means that anyone who has the link can view it, but it's not going to pop up in a YouTube search or a Google search. So let's save that. Now I'm going to copy that link and I'm going to put it here in an announcement in my Google Classroom. Again, I could also put it in as classwork with a, with a material or as an assignment. But for now, I'm just going to say, please watch this short video. And now I'm going to use my YouTube function and I put in the URL that's been assigned to my baby sea turtle video. And you can see there I can post it or schedule it for later. And let's post it. So those are a few ways that you can use videos and distribute videos through Google Classroom. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.